Ableton is a very unique tool for a number of reasons, not the least of which is this session view we're looking at right now. Really the most powerful function of Ableton, particularly with audio, is the warping function. Now, Ableton is not the first tool to figure out how to take audio files and make them move to different tempos. The Rex format was an early form where audio was sliced into transients and each transient was measured with respect to the time uh, to the transient before it. So that if you, the distance between the kick drum and the snare drum was 10 milliseconds. If you sped up the tempo, then that 10 millisecond distance between the kick and the snare would shrink to say nine milliseconds and therefore it would play faster at the faster tempo. If you played it slower, the slices of audio, the kick and the snare would move further apart, say 11 or 12 milliseconds. However, in that format, if you moved things slower, there were gaps of space. Remember, a kick drum will play for over 10 milliseconds and then 10 milliseconds later, a snare drum will play. So there's no silence there. But if you move the snare drum further away from the kick drum, the 10 millisecond gap all of a sudden becomes 11, 12, 13, 15, 20 milliseconds. And something has to fill that space or else you're gonna hear silence. And that was one of the challenges in the Rex format. Avid in Pro Tools has its own function called Beat Detective, which works similarly where the audio is sliced. And when you slow things down, it would use algorithms to try to figure out what would sound good to fill that space. Warping here in Ableton is very similar. Its function and the math behind it, its job is to figure out at what tempo does this file naturally live and what should I do if the tempo changes? If it gets faster, how do I shrink it? If it gets slower, how do I elongate it? Luckily, you have a lot of options and Ableton has given you a lot of different modes so that you can work through the material intelligently. So we're going to take a look at warping right now.